Windrock. We had a nice trip. We went out there uh, with uh, a couple of the folks from our group. That, had, that was their first time to, to Windrock. Um, we took uh, the GOAT, the uh, Terex 800. Our KRX was still in the shop, and I've got another video on that. But I had a couple requests. I don't typically like to be the uh, the lead man, the point person that leads the group. But uh, since we had some folks that hadn't been there before, uh, they wanted to go out to Caraval Flats and then also to the prison. And as uh, most of you know that have been to Windrock, that's a pretty good hike from the parking lot, the main parking lot. So uh, we hit Caraval Flats first. Um, and then from Caraval Flats, uh, we put it in the wind and uh, came across uh, Trail 52, G50, G52, G50, Trail 1, and then back all the way across to 43 to get to the prison. So we covered a lot of ground. We didn't do a lot of technical trails um, because of the distances we need to cover. I think we were there six hours uh, on the trails, and uh, we managed to go, I think, in the neighborhood of 60 miles. So we were averaging a pretty good clip because, to keep in mind, we stopped. We stopped a couple times to take breaks, and then we stopped at Caraval Flats and had a snack. Um, and then we ate at the uh, the warden's table at the prison. So you factor all that in, we were probably averaging 15, 20, 25, uh, probably not 25, probably 20 miles an hour uh, at Windrock, and that's that's scooting as, uh, as rocky as some of those trails are. But we had a good time. It was a one-day trip. Um, then we went, uh, we left that afternoon and went back home. Had a good time though. Don't have a lot of video just because of the fact we were traveling so fast. Um, and we went on mainly the gravel, the gravel roads instead of, uh, the technical trails. So I didn't film a lot. So I do have some pictures I'm going to include in here in a montage. So you'll see that next.